Hi guys, this is Juanita with ESL and the Snap. And so today's lesson, we're going to be talking about pronunciation, uh, specifically talking about the uh, letter T, T, and H, but when they come together, they form what is called a consonant blend, and they form the sound See how my tongue comes out? It's very essential if you're uh, going to pronounce this particular sound, which we call a digraph, because when the two letters come together, they form one sound, and that sound is th. All right, so today I thought we'd talk about some, um, work on some pronunciation for words that have the TH sound at the beginning of the word, at the end of the word as well as in the middle of the word so let's get started all right the first word is thick thick you see how the tongue comes out it's very important and i know that sometimes with some of my uh ethnicities uh, that are of the asian descent the TH sound can be a little difficult to pronounce and it sometimes just comes out without the H and it comes out tick. But to pronounce it correctly in English, you have to have the tongue to come through, come through the teeth, thick. Another word is thank. I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel today. Yes. <laughs> so thank thank another word is thought thought what are your thoughts today my thought was to come outside and enjoy the weather and enjoy the beautiful Chattahoochee River if you can see it behind me it's very nice today even with the rain it's still a beautiful day in Atlanta all right so thought thought Another word that begins with the TH blend is thin, thin. And you see it has a short I sound, T-H-I-N, it's a short I, which is a I. And so the TH has the th sound, thin. All right, guys, another word for today is wealth. Wealth. Another word with the TH on the end is month. We are in the month of May the month of May all right guys now let's look at words where th is in the middle yes in the middle of the word arithmetic as you can see the tongue comes through even when the th is in the middle another word would be withdraw withdraw okay again I'm using my of course normal native English uh, rapid uh, pronunciation and as you can see the tongue still comes through with the th so it's very important that when you're pronouncing the th blend in order for you to sound clear and sound for your english to be uh, have clarity and to sound more like a native american native or just to be proficient is for the th to come through the tongue to come through on the th sound all right so how about we talk about some idioms that we use here in america with the th sound so for example sometimes we say the phrase through thick and thin through thick and thin as you can see, my tongue is coming out on all of those TH sounding words. And what does that mean, through thick and thin? For example, I'll be with you through thick and thin. No matter what happens, I'll be there for you. So that means someone that will be stand with you, be supportive with you, stand by your side, no matter what you're going through, they're with you through thick and thin, all right? What about a thorn in my side? a thorn in my side th sound thorn and so when we use that idiom that means someone that may be irritating or something that's constantly aggravating you. it could be a friend it could be a family member but again it's someone that tends to aggravate you or 
just make you feel upset at times so they can be a thorn in your side another one is to throw in the towel throw in the towel I thought I'd introduce you to a three-letter consonant blend which is T H R and when we pronounce that sound it's throw thr but the tongue still comes through throw or three so throw in the towel means to give up well all right guys well I hope you all are not giving up today and I hope that you're subscribing to my channel below ESL in a snap and that you take the time to practice it's so important if you want to uh, improve your English language you must have self study and practice all right guys that's all for today I hope you enjoyed the surroundings and the environment today and I hope you enjoyed today's class so until we meet again have a good lunch